my training comes out of the, the modernist train of thought where it starts with you have the object and it's presented to the audience, but the second you create the piece, no matter what your intentions were as a as the creator, as the artist, that has to be released once the audience gets introduced. Because they're going to come to it with a new set of biases, they're going to come to it with a new set of expectations, what they think the piece is actually about. So if you had this grand subject matter uh, for a piece, once you put it in front of other people, that kind of holds us out the window. So it becomes something new, and now they can experience it on their own terms, as well as on the terms of the artist. Okay. So we were we were talking about um, this other piece, part of the of the article. Um, in our top, art, artographical research, time is singular, okay. is, is the comment that was made. Um, singular refers to the complexities that are assembled and contained with one. And you had some comments about that. In the idea that the, the way I perceive it, the artological way of making things, I have a problem with it saying that it's singular. Because when I think singular, I think that it's all happening at once, but it's all within a contained pipeline. The way I prefer to view it is that it's like a subway map to where everything that's going on underground informs what's going on above it. And sometimes the, the art making part runs parallel with the, the teaching part. Uh, what I teach in my classes informs what I do in my work. What I do in my work informs my teaching and what I am interested in as far as my research goes. And so sometimes there's parallels, and sometimes there's where they cross one another. It's not just one giant experience together. And there's sometimes they are separate, and sometimes they are together. And the challenge is to to be in the moment of all of them and be able to sometimes cordon them off as needed. Sure. So the, the, we were just looking at through the passages that were especially interesting to both of us. And, and the one uh, comment on um, page 86 um, about what exists in the space between the words public and art is an unknown relationship between artists and audience, a relationship that may itself be the artwork. I Speak to that. I think, for, I think this idea for artists has been around for some time, since maybe even the late 1800s. Um, you have the Impressionists and their ideas of how to represent color and light that weren't 100% representational. They weren't out of that academic art tradition. They, they broke from that intentionally. Um, you have people like Robert Irwin in the 1980s. Uh, his biography is called uh, seeing is forgetting the thing of the name one sees. That space in between where art and audience lie, maybe that's where the art is. That's his theories, 100%. Uh, he would say that it's not, instead of looking at it and determining on what you know, think about what you feel. Think about what it could be instead of exactly what it is and finding the meaning for yourself. I think the challenge has always been there from the standpoint of the artist. The artist has presented it, but maybe that challenge wasn't accepted by the viewer in some way, shape, or form. Now, we're trying to tie it together with this kind of art logical theory and how it influences not only the artist, but the audience. What I'm, what I'm interested in is the, the creative process, not in terms of how it has to be done, but how it can be done. I look at it as a giant bubble that has all these little plug-ins. And most people don't accept, we talked about challenges multiple times, most people don't accept the challenge of trying to find the plug that they fit into and how they can express themselves. My brother says, well, I would really like to be a sculptor. 
but he's like, but I'm not good. Well, maybe sculpture isn't your creative outlet. Maybe it's something else, and you could still be find that creativity. I think it's almost universal. I think it can be used on every level, no matter the person, it, as long as they're willing, as long as they have that willingness to seek it out, whether they're just appreciating the work, they're making the work, or they're interacting with it. That's mm -hmm. that's the core of kind of this whole thing. It, it takes that willingness to be part of it. Thank you, Josh Cross, my friend and colleague, um, department chair of the art program here at Pfeiffer University, um, and artiste. Thank you.